hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we're gonna make some vegan chicken seitan made from whole wheat flour and in the end make some sandwich as well so stay tuned till the end There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across To begin with, you're gonna need two whole wheat flour And you're gonna need a bigger bowl So as you can see, I'm adding all of my flour inside of my bowl And the next step is to add in some water Not a lot Because in the end you would want your flour to be semi firmed you do not want it to be real soft no or you're gonna miss the whole process anyway so that's that and once i stirred it from the beginning with some spoon the tail of a spoon or fork i just went ahead to use my hand to knead as you can see yes it's messy but yeah that's how we're gonna go with it and once i'm done kneading i'm gonna add in some water it's best to have the water pour inside of the bowl slowly not with full pressure you know it's just the best way and you're gonna have the water cover the whole of the kelbone or seitan and set it aside for an hour maximum an hour and a half then as you can see i'm slowly washing my seitan yes with whole wheat flour yes this is how it's gonna look like kind of sandy on the button because of the wheat but you see how it's gonna look like in the end so you're gonna wash this kale bone over and over and over and over and over whilst throwing away the water when it turns milkier yes when it turns milkier make sure you throw it away slowly refill it again and continue with this same process until the water gets clearer very clear and even without you know much traces of the wheat from the whole wheat flour so as you can see i'm on it and it's coming together it's coming true i'm so excited So guys, as you can see, it's looking beautiful than earlier on. So the next thing I'm to do is take another big pot, add in some water, place it on the fire and prepare myself some broth. So I'm to add in some tamari soya sauce, not a lot, you know, just like three tablespoons and some salt and some vegetable powder but because i don't have i just added in what i had which was with parsley and garlic mixed together it's basically um best in using in making pasta 
but I used it in my broth anyways. And the next thing I added in some bay leaves and some huge um, halved onions and I'm stirring it up. I need to stir it up for the stock to dissolve and I also added in some um, olive oil. So once I'm leaving the broth to boil, I'm just going ahead to have some braids on my Satan or Kelbone. It's funny, but to attain um, the look of the chicken like figure from the Kelbone or Satan, we just have to get the Satan or Kelbone braided. So, yes. I'm using one hand in braiding it but you need to use your two hands because I need the other hand to film this for you all and guys once I'm done you just gonna you know tie it together and slowly drop it in your broth look at this so cool yes make sure you boil this for two hours two good hours on very low heat very low heat and this is how it's looking like it's so peaceful in the broth and it smells wonderful so after the two hours is up i had to take it off the fire and place it somewhere anyways once it's cooled down completely i mean I'm slowly and gently tearing off the skin of this Satan or Kelbone. And look, guys, look, this is exactly how I imagined it to be like. I'm so happy, like, this is so fun. You know, I just had to turn it on the other side, repeat the process. Once I had enough of the shredded vegan chicken, I had to store the first batch inside of this lunch bowl and it's going straight inside of the freezer because I will not need to use this anytime soon. Guys, look at this. This looks like real chicken, but to tell you what, you saw it from the beginning. This is not regular chicken. This is made from 100% whole wheat flour. So yes, I'm just gonna throw this inside of the freezer for whenever I'm ready to use it. And this is another way of me storing the other badge of the Satan. I'm gonna need this. this very weekend to make sandwiches for my husband to take to work and i'm gonna make one example of how i make a sandwich with this very satan in the end of this video and this bag of satan that i'm holding i'm gonna use this to make a quick vegan chicken soup so let me just set that one aside and just hurry with this bowl with the rest of the shredded vegan chicken and just cover it up and also toss it inside of the freezer so guys it's time for me to make a quick sandwich to begin with i need to brown this kale bone or seitan yes i need to brown it is very important to have this crispy texture make sure you do not add no salt whilst doing it you can if it's needed but i did not so you're just gonna add some olive oil in the pan and brown it until it's golden just like this and in my bread i added in a drizzle of tahina which is um, sesame seed uh, paste and some lettuce and on went my um, browned seitan 
and the next thing i added in some ketchup yes you need ketchup to give it the umami taste you need in your sandwich it looks like i'm adding a lot of it but trust me it's good and the next thing i'm to add is some fresh tomatoes and that's basically it that's the last thing i'm adding on this sandwich but if you love some pickles red onion white uh, cabbages feel free to add them on and basically this is the end of today's video thanks so much for watching bye